This is our 17th Claggett Regatta, and it just is awesome. We are so appreciative of all the uh, wonderful volunteers we have. Our PRO will be doing the Olympics next year in Tokyo. This regatta is different than most regattas I'm involved with, and I would say primarily the reason is uh, the people that are involved. The athletes here are very special to everyone that is involved with this event. And it's fun to watch, it's fun to watch them learn, it's fun to watch them develop, and it's fun to see the sense of accomplishment in them when they've done well. I was a part of the first Claggett in 2002. It's the first time I'd ever competed in a sonar, and I had been told I couldn't, and we were able to have the opportunity to compete, and well, it was awesome, it gave me the bug. I love the Claggett, I believe this is my fourth or fifth year here. They support us. They're, the people here are awesome. It's amazing racing. The conditions are always different, so it's, there's always something to learn. So I enjoy being here very much. It's something I look forward to every year, and if I can get on a team, I'm ready. I was lucky enough to be asked to steer a boat by Why Not, who are a Claggett boat recipient, actually. Yesterday, we were a little more in the boat while we were trying to figure out what all of our strengths were because sailing is all about maximizing the strengths. One of the things that I love about sailing is the, the, the fact that I can compete with and against able-bodied people and people with disabilities. I participate in a lot of other sports and it's always called adaptive this and adaptive that, which isn't a bad thing. It's just that with sailing, 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 everybody adapts their boats to their needs and we happen to have some adaptations that are a little more visual than others, but it's all about maximizing our strengths. You end the day thinking, oh, what could we have done? But it's not about what could I have done to have been more physically capable. It's what kind of decisions could I have made? What kind of sail trim could we have had? It's, it's a team sport. Being a blind person driving a boat sounds crazy. It sounds like being a blind person driving a car. In reality, you would not want that, but in sailing, it's not even an issue. Nobody bats an eye, and we support each other. We really have a good connection and good communication, and that's key on a boat. It doesn't matter what the disability is. Communication and boat handling. And fun. And fun. <laughs> majorly fun. We focus on our job, which we, uh, we practice our roles, and, uh, and we keep doing it until we get it right. It's a very athletic sport, and people underestimate the energy it takes to push the boat around a race course. Every regatta presents an opportunity for you to you know, improve your skills. The racetrack's always changing. The course is never the same. Coming to Newport, there's so much current, and you have to factor that in. I, I just love meeting you know, new people, traveling around. It gives me the opportunity to, kiss, to stay active with the traveling, and we're always looking forward to learning in life, so sonar uh, racing uh, always uh, does that for me. It, there's no doubt about the fact that these sailors, they work harder to get where they have to get, and they don't substitute, oh well, it's not a nice day, I won't go out. They'll go out and they'll train because they want to be better. I've done the Claggett Match Race Clinic in Oak Cliff. The Claggett family and Judy are, they're just so warm and open and accepting and will do anything for us. And it's so, it's such an amazing event. It's, and this one is blowing my mind, how wonderful the people are, how wonderful the volunteers are, how wonderful the coaching staff is. You could not ask for better coaches. Dave Perry, Dave Bell Dellenbaugh, Betsy, come on. They're not just dropping in and you know flying out the door they're here they're answering questions they're on the water they're giving us coaching on the water on land it's phenomenal what we're getting here one of the programs that we are very fortunate to do is a boat grant program to help not only get more sailors on the water but get some of the sailors into proper equipment Equipment is everything, you know, whether you're running or biking or sailing. If you don't have the right equipment to do the job, you're not going to get the job done as well. Siobhan is a prime example of that. A very good sailor, but just didn't have the equipment to get the results. And now with the equipment, you know, she's at the top of the fleet. This boat means a lot to me. I was sailing an older boat as well before I had this one, and it was really 
holding back my competitive abilities. And now at the Claggett this year, I can already feel the difference that this boat is making for me on the water and also kind of boosting my self-esteem a little bit or making me feel more reassured that all the time I have spent in this boat is now being able to pay off. I really feel that now when I go out on the water, my boat is equivalent to all the other boats out there. So when it comes down to it, it's really my ability to sail compared to the others instead of the equipment. I am very excited to have received a boat from the Claggett Boat Grant Program. It's the newest boat at the Yacht Club. <laughs> and it is, it's completely revolutionized my sailing. Uh, before I had been sailing a boat that was fitted with a jib boom configuration and it was non-competitive and I was often in the back of the fleet and now that I've received a new boat I'm much more competitive and can race and it is more equal than it has ever been in my community. Delaney, I mean very strong sailor, both of those sailors. They were disabled enough that they felt that they needed a jib boom and such and because of the Claggett Regatta and the coaching they received here they switched over to a normal tacking jib. For them, it's much faster. They're able to be much more tactical with the boat, so it's made a big difference, huge difference. Thank you so much to the Claggett Boat Grant Program for this. What this means to me is that I could keep the boat out in Victoria, Canada, and actually go out and race and train with uh, the Canadian Paralympians there. And also it means that hopefully I can bring excitement into Alberta for disabled sailing as a sport. I'm meeting so many different people across Canada and the uh, United States. This is my first time going outside Canada in any kind of competition, so that's exciting. And what I really love about sailing is that you can throw people into a boat and you can be quite disabled or you can be able-bodied. It levels the playing field, so I think that's really exciting. One of the ways that we are able to raise our funds for the Boat Grant Program is supported by the Newman's Own Foundation. We also have some terrific sponsors who have been long-term sponsors. We really appreciate all of their help. It's such a great group of outstanding sailors and personalities that we get together every year and keep seeing each other and keep supporting each other and coming to this event. You know, we get out there, we play hard, and we come in at the end of the day and we're best friends. And we shake hands and we talk about sailing. So thank you everyone, coaches, uh, Jerry, Bruce community, everybody, and the volunteers especially, and Judy. Thank you.